hello students welcome to this second lecture of c programming in the previous lecture we discussed different basic aspects of computer different components of computer and what is compiler and what is programming language what is program different things now in this lecture we will do c programming directly so let's start see here we already discussed that we will be using a compiler or C compiler and we will be writing all the instructions in C, C language and those high level instructions will be converted in low level language that is in the machine level language by the compiler. We already discussed in the last lecture if you have any kind of confusion go through the first lecture. So, uh, what is a program we already discussed that program is to write you know set of instructions to solve some problem suppose you are asked to do some addition operation that you have to add two integer then you have to take two values that is integer then you have to add and then you have to display so for this for doing this calculation for this addition you have to write three four instructions where you will be taking inputs then you will be doing the calculations that is the addition operations then you will be display, displaying the information so this is a program it's a basic uh, concept of program so uh, this uh, slide you can see uh, wow uh, what are the things we'll deal with so we focuses on instructions commands and data or information or values instructions it's actually uh, the logic definition that means if you want to do some comparison then you have two values then you will compare that whether this is greater than the second one when the whether this is the uh, these are equal or these are the logic part and uh, see another line uh, we use variables to store data or information or values so we'll be dealing with some uh, variables so uh, uh, as uh, we will you know go forward we'll understand everything here uh, integer uh, means uh, the whole number that means 234 see 6, 6, uh, 46, 4, these are the whole numbers, there is no fraction part and there is another kind of information uh, that is uh, <coughs> float or real that means the number can be divided into two groups one is a whole number as a group of whole numbers that is a positive then, um, uh, minus infinity to plus infinity uh, in this range all the whole numbers will be you know considered as integer and the uh, uh, fraction there is again the infinite infinite numbers of you know float numbers those will be converted considered as uh, floating numbers or real numbers and we'll be dealing with some text information also character or symbols that is uh, our name some paragraphs text uh, that is uh, alphabet, uh, digit, special symbols we combine and we form text. So uh, these are the character A, B, C, these are the alphabet, these are the symbols, these are called character and combining all these characters we form this uh, text or sometimes we say string. Uh, this is a um, string that is a combination of different characters or symbols. So we'll be using uh, different operators. Operators means those uh, plus, minus, subtract, uh, subtraction operation. Then uh, for division, we will be using uh, this uh, division operation operator, this slash. And uh, this is for finding out the reminder, that is uh, reminder of any division operation. So uh, subsequently, we'll be going through all these things. Uh, it's just a brief introduction to all these things. Uh, no need to like no will not understand everything in this slide only this is a uh, this is the basic and preliminary overview of all these things we'll be going through many programs subsequently don't worry about that so 
uh, these are the operators we'll be using in this example there are many operators in C uh, suppose uh, here see one example a a is a variable which can store some values and it will be storing 2 plus 3 the calculation will be done on this right side and this uh, calculated value like 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 so 5 will be taken into a and this C equal to operator actually will perform this operation it will take the right side value into the left side variable so this is the basic concept of uh, C programming it's, it's a kind of equation so in uh, C programming many 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 things uh, will be written in the form of equation or we say expression expression means where we combine all this data that is information and operators together so we typically we say these are the operands two three are the operands on which the plus operator will work on so not only two plus three we can write other variables also like this a is equal to c plus d a is equal to c minus d these are this can uh, this can be written as expression so uh, there are other operators like less than greater than less than equal to greater than equal to not equal to equal to equal to equal to equal to means in this case is what we understand equal and this is one operator which is called assignment operator so these are the two operators in C so the basic difference between these two this operator this single equal to operator works as assignment operator where right side variable values will be taken in the left side variable and on the left side of this equal to single equal to that is on the left side of the assignment operator all there will be always a variable there cannot be any you know constant that is a uh, values there will be a variable because right side val va values or informations always be taken in the left side variables so here uh, the operator say one thing is written operators have priorities means uh, see uh, this is one typical expression suppose so we understand that this class operator operation should be done first because it is in the first bracket then this division operation will be uh, uh, executed first the second then this uh, there is multiplication operations that is it is a uh, in, in, in our you know school in our uh, school life we went through this thing that is a simply in uh, doing in doing the simplification we use the priority or precedence sometimes we say precedence of operators so we'll be you know knowing about this all these things is a, again i'm saying it's a preliminary pre preliminary a brief idea about all these things so here uh, in c uh, we already uh, know about this thing that uh, c is a high level language actually so what is high level language high level language is a language where we write all our logic or instructions uh, in a human readable form means human can read means it is it will be you know quite uh, you know clo close to uh, english language so in this case c is also a high level language where a programmer can write their instructions in human readable form and uh, and those information will be compiled and converted into machine level language means uh, only the cpu that is a computer can understand we under we know that computer understands the machine level language so uh, to write the c program to write a uh, no, c program successfully we will be you know following some grammars we will be following some sentence how to form the sentence in c that means how to write the instructions in english if i say give me a glass of water so this is a sentence and to successfully write or successfully form this sentence we follow uh, word we follow formation of sentence means to form the sentence uh, we follow grammars so in c also uh, to write the logic in human readable form means english like language uh, there are procedures there are procedures any programmer has to follow uh, in these words are there which has meaning like in english we know what is the meaning of go what is the meaning of come what is the meaning of uh, run Th like like this uh, in c also there are words which which are uh, having a uh, no, fixed meaning which are given in the compiler and uh, 
these words are called keywords or reserved words means the meaning of these words uh, are given in the uh, C programming uh, architecture that means in the compiler so here uh, there are uh, keywords which we will be using in our programs these words will be using will be using to form the uh, sentences means instructions so here one is int int to declare any variable as integer uh, there are uh, another very uh, keyword called float using this we will be using we will be creating float variables that we will declare some variable as float so that it can store float values so this is the basic understanding of keyword by using the keyword we give instruction to the compiler that do this thing this kind of uh, that means the meaning of the word is they already there in the compiler suppose if someone says give me a glass of water give me a glass of water so give we know what is the meaning of give and what to do when someone says give so like this when we will put this word in front of the compiler the compiler will understand definitely that this thing I have to do because the compiler has the understanding or the meaning defined inside this so there are other things like uh, if you want to use for if we'll be using very soon switch struct every there are uh, uh, near about 32 keywords in C and these are all you know like these are fixed things because C is a standard language and it is already standardized by uh, ANSI uh, so these keywords are all uh, almost fixed uh, so we'll be starting our program very soon so no need to go through many theories we, our approach is uh, whatever we know we'll you know try to implement or we'll try to do the practical and uh, our approach is clear that is we'll do the practice then again we'll go through some theory and again we'll do the practice so practice theory practice practice theory practice in this way we'll you know do the like you know like our uh, further you know uh, classes okay so here see uh, some some you know information are given like we'll be using uh, if else switch uh, while do while etc array in our programming so uh, these concepts will be clear when we'll be using and we'll be talking about the need of all these uh, like instructions so good luck so this is the first C program uh, where uh, what is the task the task is uh, the very simple uh, the task is uh, you have to print a text or a sentence on a screen you will be giving instruction to the computer that print one text or a name on the screen screen means on the monitor so uh, if this is a task see uh, before we start before we go to the C programming uh, concepts or C programming actually so let us discuss little bit about uh, the program why actually we need program we already discussed in the first lecture you can remember uh, application software the need of application software then uh, compiler operating system different things we discussed we discussed programs we discussed instructions we discussed CPU memory everything so again uh, uh, let us discuss uh, in respect of this uh, C program the first C program why actually we need program we need program actually uh, we have a computer suppose we have a computer and we want this computer should work some uh, like it should perform some activities and means uh, we want to make this computer work we want the, this computer to do something on behalf of uh, human being suppose we want that we can do calculations so we'll be do, uh, you know, telling computer to do the calculations right and we can write also on paper we'll be you know telling the computer that please uh, give me a uh, like uh, window where we can type uh, we can also uh, like use other other things uh, tape record uh, tape recorder we can use uh, other sound system uh, music player uh, which are available we can uh, use all the all these other things but 
we can also use computer we can tell the computer that please play a music uh, so these uh, we can uh, do many things on computer or we actually want to do suppose a blank computer is there so to make the computer work which we already discussed that computer will work like uh, it's a blank thing there is a CPU which can do some uh, logical things and in instructions will be there in the memory if whatever instructions you put in the memory that those will be executed by the CPU and desired result will, will be you know like in front of you if you want any calculations like addition so you put how to do the addition the process on the memory and those those instructions will be executed by the CPU and definitely will get your result that means computer is doing the things for the human mood so this is the basic architecture of uh, how computer works so no need to be confused that what why do we need this program actually again what we are doing here we are writing some instructions which we can put in the memory from where those instructions will be taken by the CPU and will be executed and will get our desired result so here there, there are three instructions which we will put in the memory and those will be executed by the CPU so one thing you need to clear in your mind that what instructions we are writing here is actually directly will not be executed by the CPU as I said these are all high level languages like printf get ch these are the instructions which CPU will not understand because I said CPU understands only basic things addition subtraction multiplication uh, or these are the basic uh, like uh, some logical operations will be done will be we can be uh, like performed by CPU CPU cannot do complex things like here we said printf uh, hello world like directly I am saying print means or display some information on screen hello to hello world has to be displayed on the screen so this cannot be done by CPU directly so what this uh, what uh, but I uh, what I I can do I can do one thing I can write in our high level language and the rest thing that is how to make the CPU understand means this program high level language will be converted into, into the low level one that will be given to the CPU means how that will be taken into, into the memory and from there CPU will take all that converted form of this program and that will be executed by the CPU and you will get the output like CPU what the CPU is doing CPU is executing all the instructions converted form of instructions and will display the hello world text on the screen so while you know viewing this video while watching this view video if you have any kind of query you write on the comment section and later on I will be making other videos for you know clearing those doubts so this is the first program where we want to print uh, hello world on the screen so this is the task to do this we have three instructions so let us actually you know let us go through other programs see another program is there again what it is doing it is printing I am a new programmer so this will be printed on the screen so similar kind of program another program is there uh, which will be you know like you know which will be doing some calculations what are the calculations it will be doing uh, see uh, it's a program to find out as, uh, to find out a simple interest so it's a and uh, means again you try to understand you have a computer which can do nothing you want to make this computer work so at this point you are writing some instructions in high level that will be converted into the low level and CPU will execute all these instructions and your task what you want to do by the computer will be you know uh, done so here you want to find out a simple interest and you are considering you have no calculator you have no software since you are making your own software which can do this simple interest uh, calculations so so uh, see computer program is it's not out of the world it's not out of the real world actually what we do in a computer if we do calculations we do logic operations we do any problem solving from real world real world means in from our world we want to do all the things be done by the computer so in this case simple interest is uh, you know like you know day to day uh, activity in a, in a banking system in other systems so uh, other one of uh, uh, finance uh, related system so simple interest is the objective so 
we know already how to find out the simple interest where uh, principal uh, will be given time will be given rate of interest will be given so th there is an equation called ptr by 100 principal into time into rate of interest divided by 100 that will give you the interest so what we can do we can uh, we can write a program so in that program i said program you can divide into three sections in one you will be taking the inputs and you'll be storing in the variables because if you take any values that means inputs you have to store in variables so that later on you can work on these variables means you can do some operation and we very you know like you know clearly understand that we have values and we want to produce new values working on the previous values suppose you have two numbers two and five so this is these are the numbers you have so what you want you want ed uh, addition you want to add means you are creating third number by adding this number means when we have some numbers we have some very values we have some information the basic concepts of concept of this world not in computer everywhere what we do when we have information when what when we have values when we have data what we do we work on the present data and we create new data in this case we have we want to find out simple interest means we want to find out simple interest from where we want to find out simple interest from principal rate of interest time these are the given parameters so in any program you have set of information given and you will be using some operators plus minus subtractor subtraction <coughs> division multiplication then reminder operator less than greater than whatever operators you have you will be applying all these operators on those existing values you will be applying many logic on the existing values you will be creating your desired output so this is the program see i said you will be taking all the information so this is the section where you are taking all the information here these are the var variables you have created p r s i simple interest s i for simple interest p r s i n P R S I. So P is the principal. No need to be confused that what are these instructions print get scan scan f how to write. So when we'll be doing the program, you will this will be clear. So these are the actually you know like uh, you know given format by C where you have to uh, write all these instructions. See these are the this is the instruction scan f to take inputs from the user means from the keyboard. And so we will be taking three inputs principal rate of interest and uh, time time means n number of year so see three scan f is here used scan f scan f scan f and uh, we are telling the uh, like user that enter principal enter year enter rate of interest and scan f is taking those values so these are the uh, these are the operations which are actually taking inputs from the user and these are the variables which are storing inputs taken by and uh, taken from the keyboard these are the principal rate of interest and time and this is the equation i said p t r by 100 p t means that not here it is n p n r p r n a principal rate of interest and time divided by time means year uh, by 100 so these calculations will be done by c automatically so this is the beauty of any compiler or any programming language you no need to do anything this calculation will be done automatically whatever calculations if you put the calculation if you put the equation if all the variable the values of the variable are given so the, any calculations will be performed by the compiler automatically how long it is it will be done by the compiler automatically and the calculated value will be taken in the SI I said this is the assignment of our work so in C we see that the calculation or the execution of any statement is done from right to left actually so right side will be this part will be done first and this will be taken in the left uh, side variable I said on the left side of the assignment operator there is always a variable so this is the calculation and the calculated value will be you know the value will be calculated and it will be taken in the simple interest so once you taken in the variable the desired like the new produced values so i said see 
these are the variable values you have taken that is these are the given set set of values and using those set of values here p and r this is the equation you are applying some logic on the existing variable values and you are creating new values this is the basic structure of any uh, problem solving methods set of var var values will be given and that will be stored in the variable you will be applying logic operators whatever on those existing values and you will be creating new set of values and you can print those new set of values by using this printer so this is a, another program so see this is the source code to machine code see this is the high level c program will be converted by this compiler compiler will it compile all this source code means written in high level in c language where english like language languages are used uh, we are human readable language uh, and will be com converted into machine level language where uh, only C, uh, which only CPU can understand not any it's not in human readable form it's called uh, machine level language so um, again uh, this is the total method of uh, no, total is a full detailed method of conversion of source source code into executable that is machine code see uh, see source code will, will be you know provided to preprocessor uh, I'll be discussing this what is preprocessor I will discuss it later okay so this is not a you know, proper time to discuss actually we'll start with the basic things and this is uh, the intermediate file that will be given to the compiler compiler will again generate an intermediate file then there is a link path that will gen totally link all these modules and executed uh, exec executable file will be generated so it's fine we'll discuss regard uh, this total method later and with a practical thing with practical uh, when you know writing programs so again you can use any uh, compiler turbo c this is a turbo c screen turbo c++ plus plus ide what is ide ide means where you can write your program you can run your program compile your program and you can run your program so this is a total module where you can ed edit your edit editor editor compiler you can run you can debug means you can find out the error that's why it's together it's called integrated development environment integrated means many things are like you know combined together here you can write program it's, it's called editor you can compile program that is the compiler is there you can assembler is there you can uh, link link the different modules of the program after compilation so that is linker is there then those modules will be loaded in the memory the loader is there so this way linker loader compiler editor debugger means when there 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 are errors in the program that debugger will check all this and will you know like inform you what are the error are there so this is a uh, debugging module so this way uh, uh, this is a id turbo c plus plus id so likewise you have dev c plus plus we will be using this dev c plus plus id code block another ide so <coughs> there are there is uh, another uh, logic which will be required writing programs or solving any problem if else means will sometime will check to values sometime will check to condition sometime will you know ba based on any condition will do one thing based on other condition will do other things so this way uh, is called if else if the condition if there if after if there will be a condition if it is satisfied then we'll do something if it is not satisfied we'll do other things like if it is 10 o'clock then i will do this thing if it is 11 o'clock i will do other things so likewise <coughs> there are many examples of events we'll go through one after one by uh, one by one So after this, okay. So let's do some program. So here is the ID. I said that this is the Dev C plus plus ID. Dev C plus plus ID five point one one is the version. So here let's try. Let's write some human readable instructions, and that will uh, solve some problems. So let's talk about any problem. So what I, what is the problem we discussed? One problem was there that we need to print some uh, text on the screen that you have no software to do that uh, you are writing your own software and you are writing in high level that will be convert, converted by the compiler to low level and CPU will read your low level form of this program and your task will be done so let's try
so we are writing the text to be displayed on the screen hello world so this is the text we want to display on the screen so we are telling the computer display this thing so we are telling in high level actually see print and printf means this is a very you know like uh, this word is very much close to this uh, english we understand so we are not writing in high machine level language because that would be you know very you know tedious and very tough to write instructions in low level so that's why this concept has come, come that we can write instructions in high level and those will be executed and those will be converted into low level by compiler and assembler so this is the program there is nothing there is one, one instruction so what we can do uh, we can compile means we can convert this into low level see this is the compile compilation so it is taking time so compile compilation is done see there is no error there is no warning so after compilation you can do one thing you can run the program so see so this is the hello world is displayed on the screen so this is actually your software this is actually your software where you have displayed hello world because you have instructed the computer hello world see the beauty of this thing is writing program is though it is a very simple thing displaying text on screen but you are doing your things uh, by yourself not you are you not using any software which is developed by other people see you are writing your own software maybe it's a very you know simplest one very primitive one but see you are you know making the computer work on your own instruction so this is the beauty of doing programs this is the beauty of writing program so you can see hello world is displayed so and uh, then this line is actually another instruction to close the output screen 